Hey everybody, Carl Schuf here from creativecodingclub.com and today I'm going to show you how to have multiple headings animate in when they scroll into view, alright? What's nice here is that when we go back down and come back up, they all restart nicely, alright? So we can scroll up and down the page and each heading is going to animate in with this fun effect. So to start out, let's check out our HTML. We're keeping it very simple. We have a full screen div with a header in it, and we're using the same approach on every single one. To start out in our JavaScript, we're gonna select every full screen div, then we're going to loop through it, and we're gonna find the heading using section.querySelector h1. We'll then log them out, and you'll see in the console, we've selected all the heading one tags in all of those full screen divs. Let's close this out. Next, what we're going to do is split each heading into individual characters using Greensock's split text. We'll pass in the heading, split it into characters, and now when I select this text here, look what happens. When I inspect it, you'll see that each character is broken up into its own div, and we can go into all of the full screen divs and see the exact same thing. Mission accomplished. The next thing we'll do is create an animation for each one of those headings going to look like this. And now on page load, you'll see this animates in. Unfortunately, all of them are going to animate in at the same time, and we're not going to see it happening. What we want to do is control them with green socks scroll trigger. So to do that, I'm going to paste in this code here. So for each section, we're going to use scroll trigger dot create, and the trigger is going to be each section. When its top reaches 40% of the viewport, we're going to play our animation. We'll set markers to true so that you'll see exactly when it happens. So now, when I scroll down, you'll see that when the top of this section reaches scroll or start, boom, the animation plays. And the same is gonna happen for every section. What we're saying here is that when we leave the viewport going back down, we're going to reverse the animation, you see that? And then it's going to play when it comes back in, all right? So you can have it going in both directions. So, just a loop, a little standard code, and you'll keep yourself out of the green sock forums. If you want to learn more about GSAP and Scroll Trigger, head on over to creativecodingclub.com and check out my extensive GSAP training. In fact, you can get started for free in my hit beginners course, GSAP 3 Express. Check out this latest review from Subba Dinesh. This free GSAP course is pure magic. He'd done an outstanding job creating an immersive learning experience. The step-by-step -step tutorials and interactive challenges make it easy to understand and apply GSAP animations. I couldn't be happier with the skills I've gained from this course, and I have no doubt that the paid courses will be an invaluable investment in my skills. Wow, that made my day. If you're interested, check it on out for yourself. Happy animating!